Hi friends, in this video we will be giving you an overview of JE Main 2013 Central Counseling for Seat Allocation for admission to all National Institutes of Technology, all Indian Institute of Information Technology, 13 centrally funded technical institutes and 20 plus self-financed technical institutes. What is CSAP 2013? CSAP, Central Seat Allocation Board, was constituted by the Government of India to coordinate admissions for the candidates from India to UG degree programs in Engineering, Technology and Architecture, based on the All India rank obtained through Class 12th or other qualifying examination and Joint Entrance Examination. CSAP 2013 is constituted in order to facilitate the seat allocation to students. The merit list for admission to National Institutes of Technology and other centrally funded technical institutes will be prepared by CBSC by giving 40% weightage to class 12th and 60% to the performance in JE main exam. Here are some important points regarding seat allocation in government funded technical institutes and self-financed technical institutes through CSAP 2013. CBSC and CSAP are two different and independent boards. CBSC conducted JE main examination and published the merit list, whereas CSAP only uses the merit list published by CBSC for seat allocation purposes. CSAP is not responsible for any error either in marks or in merit ranks of JE main 2013 exam. Both government and private institutes will participate in seat allocation through CSAP. Government Technical Institutes are National Institutes of Technology, Indian Institute of Information Technology, Centrally Funded Technical Institutes and State Funded Technical Institutes. And private institutes are called Self-Financed Technical Institutes. Seats in CSAP will be allocated on the basis of JE Main All India ranks of the candidates provided by CBSC. No other rank will be used for seat allocation. In NITs, 50% of the seats will be from home state quota and the remaining 50% from other state quota, that is, all other states and UTs except the home state. As per the decision of the Apex Party, that is, Joint Admission Board of IIT Admission, this year, the following restrictions will be applicable in seat allocation of CSAP. First, if a candidate rejects a seat allocation in CSAP, she or he will not be eligible for any other further rounds in CSAP, including spot round and extra spot round. Second, if a candidate at any stage withdraws from CSAP after being provisionally admitted to an institute, she or he will not be considered for any future rounds of CSAP seat allocation including spot round and extra spot round. Personal data along with bank details will be required at the time of online registration in CSAP website. Candidates are advised to carefully choose their institutes and branches for there is no provision of money back if one chooses not to join the allocated institute. Before clicking your choice, make sure that you know enough about all the institutes and branches you are choosing in spot round. Both government institutes and private institutes will participate and in extra spot round only private institutes will participate. In spot round, the collected fee is non-refundable if seat is allocated to a candidate. The collected fee will be sent to the allocated institute by CSAP even if a candidate does not take admission there. The collected fee will be refunded to the candidate by CSAP in case there is no seat allocation. So friends, for more details on this, please visit the websites csap.in or successcities.net. Thank you.